What's up, YouTube? All right, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, save myself a little scratch. I need to need to upgrade my computer, but I don't want to pay for a new computer. Don't have those kind of funds. So, got my old Dell here. Oh, someone's at the door. All right, let me get this case open. These Dell cases are real easy. A couple of screws and. The side panel will come right off. All right, you got this little part here. You grab on with your fingies, pull it back, and panel is away. All right, when you get down to removing your processor down here underneath the fan heat heat sink, it's a good idea to equalize yourself to any part of the metal chassis. Just discharge any static you have. I'm doing that off camera there. And then I'm gonna need to unplug that connector from the motherboard. Let me get that done. Just pull it straight up. Easy peasy. And there may be a couple of different fans and heat sink configurations. This one has the four screws holding it down. There's another version that has just a clamp holding it down. And just lift straight up. Make sure your screws are all the way out. All right, to remove the processor, there's a little lever here on the side that's going to release it. And again, I'm doing off camera. Make sure you ground yourself, discharge your static. Just lift that guy out. And it's popped up. Just lift it straight up. And there it is. You want to avoid touching any of these pins, especially on your new one before you put it back in. There's the old processor out. AMD Simpron. There's the part number. Here's the new one. Ordered this off Newegg.com and it took it about a freaking month to get here. Slow boat from China. You can see there's the markings. It is an AMD X2. This is the 560. So this will work for my application. So I'm going to pop this in and put the heat sink compound on there. It did come with some right here. But I had ordered this. So I didn't know it came with any. And where's the... You can't read it. No, oh, it's upside down anyway. Arctic Silver 5. So I paid 7 bucks for this crap. Could have saved me some money. My bad, I'm dummy. So I'm going to get a nice thin coat on here. I'm going to get it installed, get a nice thin coat on here. Because you don't want the compound to get in onto your uh, pins. And then we'll mount this sucker back up. Alright, and orientating this. You'll see here in the in this top right corner as I have it orientated. There is a little triangle on the corner of the chip and that corresponds with a triangle down in here that way all your pins are going to line up properly because there are some some blank spots you don't want to damage your pins and you can kind of look and see there's there's the blanks you see the blanks in there so let me get her in there and you want to avoid contacting the pins with your fingies if you don't want any of your oils to get on there and just sets in there just like that and we're gonna lock it in place now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this surface with some alcohol and apply a thin coat of this Arctic Silver 5 heat sink compound and then get my heat sink back on Now 
All right, what I've done here, I put my thin coat of my compound, the heat sink compound, on the heat sink itself because it's round and that's going to be a slightly smaller footprint than my square processor. So if I have any, if I put a little bit too much as it squishes out, it's going to be okay. Now, let me stand up and get this baby lined up. Get it in place. Okay. Now we'll screw it down. Just go on Google, look up what you have, and you'll be able to find plenty of places going to tell you what processes you might be able to upgrade to. All right, we'll plug this fan back in. There it is. Get this case back go back on plug her in see how it works all right here's the moment of truth let's see if this works Boom.